All right. So I got the recording turned on. Um, let's go ahead and get started uh, for our opening prayer. Uh, Miss Marion, uh, Bay Dotsai. <clears throat> ก็ตัวอ่ะอ๋อมาเลยอินสวยซะกูเอาก็บอกกูติดกูไปดอกอินเด็กกูก็ซะนะกูต้องอย่าอีกเลยเอ่อกูหวังแกอย่าอดได้
And there's Ramon. Mm -hmm. They uh -huh. own they aim son, Ramon. Oh, on they own they bow a bon. Oh. Uh, we're just getting started. You're just on time. <laughs> um, we, I was just seeing if anyone had any uh, comments or anything that I'd like to share or any questions before we get started with our practicing. And Cricket just shared a little bit. Uh, I guess the only question I would have is, uh, has it been decided on the August date for credentialing in person? Paul, oh, um, and I know uh, Grandma D is here, um, so we can confirm with her, but um, as of, let's see, when did we meet last? 26th? Yeah, as of the last time we met on Wednesday the 26th, um, the language board had said it is um, going to be Saturday, August 19th, um, starting at 10 a.m. And I think the last time uh, in May, they went from like 10 to 2. And uh, Dane emphasized that if any candidates, uh, whether we're going for level one or level two, if we can make it um, and we if we can um, spend uh, the whole time or most of the time there, we can Kind of just experience uh, talking with each other and uh, just kind of seeing how the whole process goes. And it it's going to be, I'm going to, I believe it's going to be in Norman at the District 7 office. Is that, um, is that correct, Grandma D or anyone else? Oh, oh. awesome. Uh, oh, okay. So District 7 office in Norman. Um, it'll be Saturday, August 19th, from at, starting at 10 a.m. And um, it'll be in person. And I believe any of the components of credentialing that you can get in person, uh, that will be able to do that. Um, so that's going to be exciting. Oh, uh, Cricket, do you have the address to the District 7 office handy? Would you be able to put it in the chat for us? Yeah, I'll put it in the chat. I'll just look it up. Uh -oh. Um. Oh, and there's Grandma Martha. One day on the Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, we were just get, getting started and having everyone just kind of see if they have questions or anything they'd like to share. Um. The so Tim says he starts tomorrow. Um, yeah, when does everyone start? I think several of us are going to be uh, teaching in the schools this year, right? Teaching Kiowa. Oh, yeah, he ain't going. There are four, right? It's you, Ramon, Akima, myself. Oh. Yeah, it's a, and tomorrow, Weatherford High School, we start tomorrow morning. It's going to be uh, interesting. <laughs> See how it goes. <laughs> well, I went um, by the um, office today to take my teaching certification. But man, I'm glad I went because they handed me a lot of posters. <laughs> it's not it's doing. <laughs> Awesome. What was that, Tim? Go ahead. I said it's going to be so useful, all the, the posters and all the material I got. Yay! That's exciting. I know I need to make a run by there um, at some point and uh, pick up some more stuff. Um, they sure do have a lot of handy things there. Um, let's see. Well, I guess uh, that's something I think that's going to be uh, really interesting this year is since several candidates or several uh, credential teachers are going to be teaching in the public schools, we'll have an opportunity to kind of share with each other. Um, one thing, I don't know what a learning management system anyone else is using, but Weatherford, we have to use Schoology. 
So I've been having to put all my lesson plans and my unit plans into Schoology. So that's kind of taken a whole lot of time. <laughs> I've had to learn how to use that. Uh, so that's been uh, interesting. But the good thing is once that's all set up, then I guess I don't have to do it again. I could just use it again next year if I want to. Um, but since we don't really have like a textbook we're going off of, uh, for Kiowa language, um, it's all just uh, pretty much based on what we've done through, you know, basically level zero and level one Kiowa language credentialing. So it'll be an adventure. Oh, cool. So Cricket, they use Google Classroom and Infinite Campus. We used to use Canvas and I had all my stuff in Canvas, mm -hmm. um, just like little lesson, lesson plans and lessons for teachers to use or for uh, just, you know, language and different types of history activities or, you know, cultural activities. And, uh, and it was all on Canvas. And then now we're, we're, we got rid of Canvas and I had to take everything off this summer. So have to put it in Google Classroom now. Man, I'm familiar with Google Classroom. So I was like all looking forward to it. I was like, oh, I, yeah. I had already started like putting things in there. And then when we started our teacher training two weeks ago, they were like, yep, we use Schoology. <laughs> I haven't even heard of that. <laughs> it's I like, like it's Canvas like, though. I think it, from what I heard, because I haven't used Canvas, I've just you know been a student using Canvas. But mm -hmm. from what I've heard from other teachers is Schoology is kind of like Google Classroom and Canvas put together. Hmm. Okay. So it's uh, it's interesting. <laughs> oh, man. Um, and I, I think, uh, Tim, you had mentioned a few, it was earlier this summer, I think you had mentioned you wanted to order um, some of those USAO Miss Gonzalez textbooks. Did you guys ever do that? Well, they didn't have enough. I was going to try to get enough for a classroom, so I'm just going to get a teacher set. Oh, so, well, yeah. man, that's so, too bad. Yeah, but but I mean, we have so much material, you know, with, I was really was kind of worried about the material, but, you know, like you, we start with the level zero, and I mean, there's there's plenty to teach throughout the whole school year. Oh, yeah, <laughs> totally. And I really think, um, I just think that within this year, I'm just going to have big growth myself in the, in the Kiowa language because I'm not going to go up there and teach something unless I know it first. So I'm not going to hold the kids accountable and say, you have to know this and I can't and I don't know it. So it's going to make me study harder and study longer and get up earlier. And, and... Oh, I'm, I'm well, my goal is to stay one day ahead of them. If we can stay yes. one day ahead of the class of the students, then I'm okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. A little bit more than that. I have an opportunity to at Riverside, you know, we're kind of set up a little bit different. If any of the um, mentors want to come, you know, I can get you some a home gift or, you know, gas or anything like that. So I think I'm going to talk tomorrow with, um, is it Dolores? Let's just see if she can come. Not the Lord's. What's her name? God. Grandma Dorothy? Grandma Dorothy, yeah. I'm sure she would love to because it's uh it's her alma mater. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I know. I'm hoping that um at some point I can uh get um we don't have as much funding, but through our Title VI funds, we can have um like guest speakers and stuff. So we could also do something similar at some point with um, any of the mentors who wanted to come to Weatherford to share something. Um, I thought that would be really fun, like when we start doing storytelling, um, just to have some like real official storytellers, <laughs> our mentors. Um, but that, yeah, there's, there's a lot of opportunity. It's going to be fun. And I'll be teaching Kiowa to a bunch of CNAs. <laughs> <laughs> well at least they'll be Indian <laughs> right right <laughs> that's true that's true uh, I'm saying we I, I, right now I had 18 in my class and I think I got five that are Kiowa hey at least you got some Kiowas I think I have one that's Kiowa <laughs> my <son>. daughter <laughs> <laughs> <Your> daughter. <laughs> 
she's excited. She gets to to take Kiowa. Um, so it's pretty cool. Good opportunities. That's going to be fun this year, just to kind of hear everyone's adventures. <laughs> if you think about where the program started out from last year, now you got four people teaching in, in high school Kiowa language. So that's oh. Cool. Well, and there's also been, Elgin has had their program for a long time, too. Are they, do they teach at the high school? Mm -hmm, that's where they teach. My nephews took there, too, just like two years ago and the year before that. I mean, it's a freshman and sophomore. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm, he took Kiowa. His mom was all happy. And it's, you know, she was, you know, she, he's taken Kiowa. He, it's on my white side. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, they were all excited to take Kiowa. <laughs> Cricket, so they've had it. Elgin, Anadarko, and now we're adding uh, Riverside, Weatherford, and um, Carnegie. And don't forget, guys, Lawton wants one, and they will add Kiowa at any time a teacher will be willing to go there. But it, they have to be credentialed through our program. Oh. We should uh, maybe uh, see if we can recruit some people down in the Lawton area that might be interested in getting credentialed. I have to keep my keep my eyes open. <laughs> oh, they've been winning. A, a, they would have paid a teacher full time um, two years, starting two years ago. Wow, that's awesome. So if anybody knows anybody, get them through our program or somebody already in our program that's like, okay. Oh, we could uh, put some, uh, see if maybe the language program can put some like recruitment out. Some, uh, what is it like outreach? Mm -hmm. And maybe now that Warren has an office in Tulsa, we can get some more participation in Tulsa again, because I know Tulsa wants to, you know, add Kiowa too, but we don't have a candidate over there either. Oh, yeah, I feel like Tulsa is like they're one of the main schools. They were all over they're, They had it in the newspaper and everything last year. <laughs> they still never got board approval. Really? Yeah. So, like Lawton has board approval and Tulsa doesn't. You know, so Tulsa still has time, but Lawton is, we're two years behind for Lawton. <laughs> and they're ready. They were ready like two years ago. So yeah, like. <laughs> they're ready to pay full-time Kiowa teacher, but they want it to be uh, somebody that can teach it as a, a world language. So they have right. to be certified in Kiowa. Oh, that's awesome. So um, I'm thinking, because I have a sister that She's kind of retired from the um, pu public schools, and I'm just might approach her. So, how would she go about getting certified? I mean, who? What is the process of if you were to recruit? Where do we send them? Um, that it's going through our program. So just they, they have to pass, you know, all this certification that we're doing, the credentialing process. Um, that's how they get certified. That's how they get certified is going through this credentialing process through the Kiowa language department. So send them to go see Lily. Correct. Okay. What area would she want? Well, I, I don't know. She's she lives in Lawton. I just thought. I'll oh, call okay. Her. Ooh, that'd be awesome. She said uh, the Indian Ed director there said that they'd be willing to pay a part time person or a full time person. So they could. Yeah, however they want, they just want somebody to come teach Kiowa. Okay, I'll, I'll ask her. I was wanting to hear if, if Ramon has started yet. Uh, uh, I said tomorrow earlier. Oh, can he go? Okay. Uh, I, wait, somebody had a question about the Tulsa online classes with the library. Are you still going to do those or is Warren taking them over or what's happening with that? Um, 
As far as I know, Warren wants to utilize the office for in-person uh, meetings. Um, so that would switch over to um, his uh, decision, uh, but also to need to get with him on uh, setting some start dates, uh, probably in, for September. So. And that is that for the online one or? No, that would, that's what I'm saying. He wants to utilize the new District 7 office there in Tulsa to have an in-person class. Okay. So um, I'm not sure if you uh, Zoomed. Um, if it were, uh, you'd have to talk with uh, Warren on how he's going to uh, control that, so. Mm -hmm. Well, because I, I know the library, you know, wanted to keep it in their library system. So I don't, are we not going to do that anymore with the library? We're not going to join up with them? Or just talk to Warren? Sure. Well, you'd probably have to ask Lily more about that. As far okay. as I know, uh, Teresa and I have talked about is just, um, that Warren wants to use the new office for uh, holding classroom there. And she said she understood, and that's what she figured because the tribe had just bought that building. Mm -hmm. So um, I, but as far as continuing a partnership, I'm not sure. Um, this is kind of, in, I guess in a way, even though we have to go into the public school system uh, in order to teach, um, as far as community, I think we're trying to, uh, you know, control um, the audience as far yeah. as who all is able to learn. Mm -hmm. Community-wise, though, not, not in school, just out in the community because of situations that happened with the previous class. So, uh, okay. Oh, all right. Sounds good. So just steer everybody to Warren's Tulsa office when they ask. So here's a question. So what about, because I know you had, um, Ramon, you had one young lady that was from out of state that lived in Arizona that was um, joining your Zoom. What about the out of staters? Would they join this one here? There's no um, for Zoom. So with that, um, there was the there was the talk of um, there was the talk of how there were those who were out in the public that were utilizing the library's resource of the Kaiba class in order to come in to learn things, but also at that same time, uh, things were starting to be. Um, taken um, and things just done wrong, uh, things being uh, not done properly um, by non, non Indians uh, for that matter. And so in order to kind of mitigate that, we just discussed on what a class would look like with a Zoom, but the registration also coinciding with either what enrollment has on hand um, or proving descendancy. So I guess it's still in the works. I, I'm not sure Warren would have would you know would have to decide on that since it is his office. Um, but that was kind of the thing uh, just in order to protect, uh, cultural aspects, certain knowledge that should remain, that should not be out in public. Um, that's what we're trying to control is, you know, make, making sure in the community that Kiowas are learning, especially on tribal property. Hope that helps.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, that was something that's on, it's on Facebook all over the place, open to public. So that would be a hard one to control if it is on Zoom. Like ours, our Monday night one is, you know, the link is open to the public. But it's only an hour and we do mostly hymns, so not that. Well, you're talking about the class had in the past been broadcasted on Facebook and advertised, or are you talking about new classes they're advertising for ones that are coming up this year, later on this year? Our Monday class, we have a portion of it online. The Tulsa, the Tulsa class, you were saying that they were putting the Tulsa class out there and people were. I didn't say anything about Tulsa. I said ours, our Norman class. I said ours, the one that we have on Monday. So, so ours, the one that we have on Monday is, and that's district seven. It's uh, has a link on it to be able to join and that's public. I mean, that's Facebook. Oh, I just miss, misheard you. Hey, mm -hmm. but, but I mean, like, so just, I mean, if we're doing that, but that's district seven, that was Warren's, I mean, that, that was under Warren's directive. <clears throat> Yeah, and if somebody's living out of state, you know they're in District Seven. I just hate I just hate to see someone that's living out of state or somewhere like in Denver or whatever. And if they wanted to join a class to learn Kawa, and we're saying, well, you can't join the Zoom, but that's you know I don't think that's the purpose of the program. I think it's a less. We're not saying that you can't join the Zoom. What we're saying is that if you are Kiowa wanting to learn Kiowa and you are in District Seven, then what we were talking about was getting with the enrollment office. And when those people submit an application, or I guess like maybe there's there will be a Google form or something that they can fill out saying that they are a member or that they can prove descendancy, then allowing them to get the Zoom at that point and making sure that the Zoom link is not shared and possibly even that it's you know changed, you know, every session. And just to make sure of that, because there were people that were in the Zoom class due to the library being a public learning facility and equal opportunity, there were non kaiwas non-Indians learning things and, and starting to do things that were wrong, like taking names of chiefs. And so that was a thing that if this is a small thing we're seeing now we do not want it to domino effect into something much larger later on so rather than us you know continue on going in this way and then get to a bigger problem and then try to clean up the mess we're trying to you know put hurdles up to not allow something much larger or anything to affect us in the future, like with cultural you. or anything like that with cultural knowledge, different stuff of that matter. Because in community, you know, people not only are gonna to wanna to learn language, they're also, because they're away, especially in district seven, they're far off, they, they also want to learn about cultural stuff and culturally sensitive stuff. And as Kiowas, we want to give that to them with them being Kiowa, but then also too, because it was in a public setting, there are non Kiowas learning things that are meant for Kiowas. So that, that's what we're talking about. And those people can still, you know, join in the Zoom, but it would just be, there's just going to be a process now. It's not just going to be, oh yeah, you know, sign up and we'll send you the link or it'll be posted on Facebook. Just watch for the Facebook post on with the link to the Zoom on it. It'll probably be an actual process.
Oh, so long. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to say something. I'd like to say something. Hello. Oh. One day. Oh. I, I have a comment. Um, you're talking about he's uh, making a comment about others taking the names of Cotwas, etc. And um, I was, um, I come across, um, uh, I'll say a couple of people that um, are using names and they are not um, ancestors or their ancestors are not, well, you know, they're just taking a name and because they think that's part of their family, but it isn't, they aren't related. And so there's about three people with the same name. And then there's only one person that's actually um, of the family. And then there's a similar situation in another name. And so I was just <clears throat> um, thinking that the people that take some of these names should be sure and check the ancestry because things could, you know, become confusing because we have uh, younger people that sometimes don't know their ancestors or the history or their grandparents, great grandpas, grandmas. And I think that's important. And that's it. Oh, oh. Oh, I think uh, he was talking about white people taking or naming themselves mm -hmm. chiefs. Well, that's, you know, well, that's, chief the same that. thing. that's the same thing. Because uh, people, you know, that's a concern. Oh. Uh, because even with even with, um, oh, I won't go into that. It's a long story. Okay. Oh, I understand what you're saying, Miss Marion. I agree. And and if they do that, um, restrict people on the link or something, then uh, they have not been doing that to our our Monday class. So he needs to think, he needs to make sure that if that's what he wants to do, then we'll, then we'll have to do it however he wants to change that. Yeah, there was no discussion about the Norman class. It was just uh, primarily the Tulsa class due to the audience that was in there. And then mm -hmm. that they would return um, come the beginning of the next semester. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. With that, uh, Ramon, with that, I know that you said that that's uh, related to just the Tulsa class, but um, how does that affect the USAO class and the OU class, like the Calente class at USAO? So it wouldn't really affect anything with them because those are partnerships through the school and those are public institutions. Just like with Carnegie, it wouldn't affect anything with uh, and Weatherford and Madarco, it wouldn't really affect anything with those classes. It's just the the biggest reason uh, like we're able to do this is because it is on tribal property. I, you know, the class, the in-person class would be held on tribal property. And also the Zoom would be broadcasted, I guess, from tribal property on a public platform, but even still zoom allows for the capability of private meetings so it would just be private it wouldn't it wouldn't affect anything else that we're doing because we're also like we understand we're in a state of you know our language and how it is now and we have to go to where the children are especially and that is in the schools and that is public and that has to be public there's nothing we can really change about that so but what we, as I believe what we should be able to control, we ought to, where should we ought to be able to have authority and autonomy as a tribe, we ought to, you know, put in those, you know, barriers 
if we are able to. It's just, you know, like I said, publicly or in a public setting, like the schools, universities, we can't do anything about that. But on our own property, with our own class, our own, you know, teachers, we can control things. Oh, that makes sense. Well, we'll look forward to hearing more updates on that. Um, Ajo, Ramon, uh, let's see. And we have Nelson and Judy who joined us. Honde Onde. Is it Matan? Matan. Oh. <laughs> Ajo. Oh, Kathy. Oh. Oh. Kathy got a yeah. oh there's Lori too okay I'm letting them in the room oh. make sure they come in okay um well let's see anything else that anyone would like to share or anyone have questions on all right no. uh let's oh go ahead I just wanted to make sure because we had a new person that I do not believe was Kyla first time I've had um, had that on when we were online last night. I mean, Monday. And uh, and if we're going to do that, then I need to know. So um, he, he said he received an email invitation in July and he got on in August. So I just need to know if we're going to start doing that because I'll need to pay attention then. I would talk to your legislature. I'm emailing right now. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Okay. So we wanted to do some uh, grammar practice. I know some of us were on the Monday Zoom and we were doing some grammar practice. Um, and that was kind of the, the thought tonight was to focus on grammar. Is that still a good place to focus on for everyone? Um, does everyone want to do that? Are there some of y'all that want to do something different? I can open some breakout rooms. I'd like to work on the um, pronouns like we did last time, like we did on Monday. And I guess y'all have been doing that. Does it really help me? And I want to keep my brain going there if you want to make a breakout room for that. Oh. Yeah, we can do that. Um, let's see. So we have a, a vote for grammar and pronouns. And is there anyone who doesn't want to work on grammar or pronouns and who would rather um, have a breakout room for that or something else? Anyone? Anyone? OK. Going once, going twice. <laughs> Um, all right. Sounds like everyone is going to uh, stay here and work on pronouns on grammar. Um, so let me share my screen. Hi. Uh, Monday. No, just for the. Oh. Uh, where am I? Okay, here we go. Okay, so I pulled up the study stack whoa what, what is going on here right <laughs> um so i think the one that uh we were working on on monday was this one the pronoun only but it's the level zero do we want to start there can you guys see my screen um, it was let's see i think it's it was this one and then matching was it this yeah, I think so. Um, I think we went down to different ones, but yeah, we started out with that one. Okay. Does everyone, I guess we can start with this one and see how it goes. I know it's a little strange because it's just a pronoun without the context. And I know that's kind of um, strange for some. Um, 
but we'll uh, we'll try it. So we're what we did. Um, Cricket, do you want to explain how we how you did it on Monday, and then we can see if uh, that's how we want to do it today. We can just go around Robin and match a top uh, one of the top green ones to a bottom blue one, and I don't know if. Dane's not on. Okay. Dane would give us, like, if we had a question, he might give us an example of a um, sentence. He'd put it in a sentence for us. Um, but us learners, if we want to do that, it, it helped me learn some, learn some pronouns that I had not been, so I hadn't committed to memory for the the possessive pronouns. I, I I mean that's the ones I was I finally figured out. Yeah, that is helpful if you can hear like a word like that top one to the left, the E. I mean, so mm -hmm. when is that used in a cobble word? A. Or a. a. Yeah. Um letter E, but it's pronounced A. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like this the Spanish vowel. Okay. okay, so I'll do what Dane was doing on Monday. I pulled up the PowerPoint that he was using, um, where it has the like the the full Kiowa sentences with these pronouns yeah. in it. So yeah. I can uh, read that if uh, I, I depending think, on what you choose. Yeah, and do they have that? Don't they have the sentences in the flashcards? Huh, yeah. Um, think, let me we go. can go over flashcards first and then do that. Yeah, that might that might be easier. Um, oh, see right here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Example sentences, but how do we how do we get them to show up? Let's see. Well, hmm. if you go to the flashcards, you click it twice. Right there. Okay. Yeah. So do the flashcards first, then the matching. Yeah, and that way we kind of can figure it out. Okay. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, let's see, Cricket, you want to try this one? So that's the that's the hashtag, which is like no, there's no like word there, um, and that would be so like you were saying, somebody she to him, he she it like it is. Or he is, or she is. So, Segun Da um, would be an example. Oh, down at the bottom. Okay. And then I get, okay, so the other example is that top one, Segun Bon. Can you go back to the, which one that was? Right there. To her. So, so it's basic and then. The bottom is a basic one, and then the top one is what do you call that one? It, we'll see. Isn't default basic? And then um, the top one is that an object? Two part, I think. Hold oh, on. two part, two part. Okay, two. Part. Yeah, two part. Okay, two part. Okay, so that would be segun bon. Okay, let me close my eyes and not look at it. So segun da and segun bon. So, so basically we have to, let's see, for level and uh, Grandma Martha and Grandma D, uh, if you could correct us, um, for the credentialing part, for level one, for the grammar, uh, I always get it backwards. <laughs> Grandma Martha, can you uh, remind us? what the level one grammar portion is going to look like? I think you're muted. Or maybe she uh, has to step away. OK, um, so that would be uh, if you go to the Kiowa part of it, so it be she uh, tell me if I'm correct um she sees the dog is that what that means 
in English. And then the bottom one is, it is a dog. Oh, he or she sees, sees the, the shoe. Dog. He or she sees the dog. And then, and then shoe, so, I mean, it that, is. That would be the English part of it. Dog, it is. She sees the dog or it is a dog. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's my understanding. I might be wrong. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking for that, uh, our credentialing folder. It always gets buried farther and farther away in my Google Drive. <laughs> I was going to try to pull up the checklist because I always get it backwards. In level one, are we, okay, here it is. I found it. Okay, checklist. Um, level one, grammar. The evaluate, evaluator will say the sentences in Kiowa from the nouns PowerPoint. And the candidate is to translate the sentences from Kiowa to English. So, so I would need to do that right there. Right. So, you need to say, like, so they'll she, say this. So they fall. And then you have to say what you just said. She the, sees the shoe and she sees the dog. It is a shoe and it is a dog. And that's aw. level one. That's, uh, uh, yeah, that's level one okay. for the grammar. And then um, if it was level two, it'd be reverse. Uh, I, I believe so. so. We'll see the English. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. And then I would have yeah. to say, say goon. It'd I, be I this. Say, yeah. So day, uh, bon. So day, bon, and say goon, bon, and then so day, da, and say goon, da. Oh, yep. Okay. So this is that would be level two. Level two, you'll see this or you'll hear this, and mm -hmm. then we'll have to say it in Kiowa. And level one, we'll see this or hear this, okay. and we'll have to say it in English. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is ah. All right. His or her? Wait, hold on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's uh -huh. like, wait, what are we doing okay. here? Okay, so we have to give uh, the Kiowa. Yeah, give the Kiowa. Are we doing that. level one or level two? I think most of us are doing level two, but. But on couple... here, this one comes up first. So it kind of gives it away. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so well, I guess we'll just. Uh, just do it in Kiowa. Yeah. If you get it right. Okay, so anyone want to uh, take a shot at giving an example. Is, um, so one object. Is that, does that mean that it's possessive? Is that what that means? That's what I'm wondering. Um, okay. I think it means yeah, her yeah, or yeah. his possessive. Yeah, it's possessive. You're right. It's possessive okay. or mental. Yeah. Okay. So... Now and now our two our two nouns that we're working with are thode and bon, and uh segun. and then okay. there's akinga for okay if you want to use right. that too. All right. Okay, so that would be da again. So yes. that would you would say <clears throat> segun. Yeah, like you like you were uh like Almost, you got, ah, Kathy, is what it is. Yeah, you, Kathy is ah ah oh. Say uh, good. Uh, say good. Uh, uh, say good. Uh, no, I don't know. Almost, yeah, yeah. You're on the right track. You just need your um, verb. Uh, your verb. So say good. Ah, uh, so you said. Yeah. Dog it. Say good. The verb. What, is, go, what goes after? What's your verb? That means it is. is. Uh, bone. That That's means to see. see. <laughs> oh no! Stay. <laughs> Is it the? Uh, oh. It's easy. You got this. Oh. I know you do. Yeah, you got it. That was okay. it. Okay. Oh. So, segun. Uh, 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 say, oh, segun a uh, do. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so oh, okay. I. You got it. That was it. Yep. Okay. All right. Good job, Kathy. This is hard, but very helpful. It is hard, but yeah, it's good to practice because I'm starting, like, this is probably like the, I don't know, fourth year that we've done this. And, so, yeah. Uh, Akia, is Akia in that flower? Oh, Akinga. 
A king gap. Okay. A I don't. Okay. Uh, well, Martin. let's see. Well, I don't know about that. Mark, yeah, I don't. Oh, go ahead. Um, she did. My mother was saying, if you say what Sarah said, I da says you're saying I am a dog. <laughs> how you how the difference? I have a question, Melody. One day. I don't know if I can answer it, but <laughs> I think okay, we'll have to um, leave that up to speakers. <laughs> okay, if we say like a, a, a animal or something like that, it mm -hmm. would wouldn't it be a dog? Um, a dog. It is a dog. No, no. Hi, God. Oh. I'm, I'm confused too. Okay. I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> hey, oh. um, do you want to show them the chart first? Mm -hmm. Like, show the oh. screen. Yeah, that one. And that way, they. Yeah. They okay, so this chart. is a. Uh, let's see. I don't know if we. Can, I'm trying to find the one that will help us. That's without the. This is the one I was looking at because it has the uh, the Kiowa there. I know these like little things are in the way. That's okay. But you can, we can kind see of see it. it. We can see around oh. it. I think. Oh, I see. So the numbers. So right now, like if we're just talking about one thing, like right now we're just talking about one yeah. item. Okay. So here's over here. You have your three part, which is a three part sentence, meaning there's like a subject, object, and direct object, kind of. And then you have a possessive sentence, which is, you know, like we just talked about, it. it is someone's, it belongs to someone. And then the two part, which is where you have someone doing something to someone else or something like that. And then you have the basic, which is like, it is, or. Um, so the spacing got a little weird on this slide. Let me see if I can make it any bigger. I think it's just because of the, those little thingies that he put in there. The Google. Okay. Yeah. I try to make it bigger. Okay. Uh so what did we just so you so Nelson, your question is if it's an animal, would we use something else? So we would look here. Uh I guess it depends on how we're talking about it. So this is saying we're trying to say his or her dog, like one dog. So Grandma D, <laughs> how would we say that? How would we say that like basically it is her dog or it's his dog? Segun, a dog. Segun, a dog. Okay, so that's this right here. Ah, uh, let me go back. So she just said the bottom sentence right here. Can you say that again for us? I think it's a tonal. It's the inflection. Sagun a da. It's not sagun a da. Sagun a da. Oh, so the A needs uh, to go down. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Okay, so D A. But, I, but it sounded like she said the tone is up on both. Again. She said, don't well, say Segun Ada. It's Segun Ada. Segun Ada. Segun Ada. Segun Ada. So Ada um, is like one um, word? No, you're no. saying it right. Ada. Uh, so we don't want to go down on the A. Oh, don't, don't. It's uh, you want like to go a, down on the the D A W, uh, the last one. Yes. Uh, Holy shit, we're gonna Say die. Say good, uh, dog. Oh, huh? Kathy, say it again so Grandma D can hear you. Say good, ah, uh, dog. And Carolyn, was that accurate? Maybe. That, yeah. Oh, unstable. I raised it right in the middle of it all, so it's all That's good. My computer is unstable. Her computer's unstable. Uh oh. You want me to yeah. stop sharing really quick? It might be taking up a lot of bandwidth. Hold on, let me stop sharing. It might help. Wow. 
Does, <laughs> did that chart help anything, Nelson? Oh, okay. thank you. Yeah, I think it's the tones. We just have, we have what Grandma D's trying to get at is we need to watch how we, where we're emphasizing things. Because we could, we could be saying something totally different. <laughs> um, Grandma D, is, are the tones on that flashcard, are they correct or do they need to be? I have no idea. Okay. He doesn't read it. <laughs> say, Martha Nell. Martha Nell, can you say oh. it is a dog and and what mama was saying, I am a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you if you're saying what's on the card there, it's um talking about the dog itself that belongs to that person, that third person that you talk about, because that's what it is. You would say, Sagun, a dog. Like that. Sagun, a dog. That is her dog or that is his dog. It's just in the tonal inflections on the, how you say it. So that, so that, uh, that you I could think put, that, oh, go ahead. You could put more in it to make it understandable. Like you could say, you're talking about this particular dog you're looking at right there. You could say, um, ain't it Sagun, a dog. Meaning this particular dog is that person's dog. Grandma Martha, can you say I am a dog <laughs> so we can hear the difference? <laughs> we don't say that. <laughs> you could say something like say guna dog, like that. Say guna dog, you kind of run it together. And then say rough. <laughs> <laughs> I when like when the kids played Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that helps. Green day, say good. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I you know, I like that. I, I noticed that like in all the uh practice sessions we've had, our mentors always are saying we should add things, you know, to be more specific to about what we're talking about. Make the sentence uh, so. understandable, yeah. Uh, oh it's like easier. Ooey day and aim day and ooey yeah. so ooey oh. so. Okay. Well, that helps. Uh, Nelson, hopefully that is helpful too. All right. Okay, so yeah, let's see. So, <laughs> Nelson, do you want to try the next one? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, here, look, here is the opposite now. Say good or da. <laughs> okay, you it him or her. Do you want me to pull up the uh little chart again or I'm gonna pull it off the screen again so I can look at it unless unless y'all wanna look at it. Let's see. Beautiful. Or Nelson, you might be able to find it if you have that PowerPoint handy. Like Honda all mom. What are you to it doing? Maybe. That means sure. you look at the dog. So, say goon on bone. You to it, him, her. I think it's harder because we're oh. like what we're doing it is we're doing the level two way when, we're, you know, or jumping like five steps up a staircase. <laughs> It's harder because then you're like, ah, you have to come up with a sentence because I don't have all those sentences memorized. So, you yeah. to it, him yeah. or her. You to it. But I him. think you're on the right track, Ramon. So let's see. She sees the dog. Right? Is that what you're trying to say? No, you see that. I'm so confused. You yeah, to, you, she, you look at the oh, dog. You see the dog. Yeah, you're yeah, looking at it, I guess. Right? Oh, okay. You so look. that means Segun a bon means mm -hmm. you look mm -hmm. at the dog. Yeah. That's it. And okay, it's the ah okay. going down. Or you see uh -huh. the dog. You, you see okay. the Segun dog. Okay. A bon. So that's where we use the soft A. Two parts. 
still need that book. Yep, and that's it's right here. And the columns are a little weird, but you'll see it under oh my gosh, under the uh this two part sentence. Column. Yeah. Yeah. Can you Say would you be able to get in there and like space it or will it mess up that little his uh, um what I'm gonna do is I I'll try to I'll uh duplicate this so I don't mess up the file, but then I'll go and try to fix the spacing. So because I okay. think I think like you said, Craig, yeah, it's the formatting between PowerPoint and Google. Uh -huh. So, but yeah, I think we can fix it. I'll I'll try to, because I want to use some of these with my class eventually. So yeah, this um, is and a we don't use advanced. PowerPoint. We have to use uh, Google Drive for everything. Um, so let's see. Um, okay, so that was a team effort. <laughs> uh okay let's try uh, let's see. uh nelson oh okay you to them and remember our nouns are the dog or the shoe and it's only dog. one um. Um, on your high go. I don't know. I'm lost. Can I try it? Go ahead. Um, oh. say goon da bot bone. You see the dogs. Said no. Honey. Yeah. I don't know what she's trying. Bot, say goon bot bone. Segunda, segunda, bot, boom. Oh, bot, yeah. Boom. Oh. You oh, see oh. all those dogs. Oh, you're talking about all of them. Yeah. Um, that would be. Bay. Yeah. Okay. That would be bay. Segunda, bay, boom. It's down oh, here. Bay, boom. Okay. Tell me that one. Right here, right? I think. Trying uh, to find it. Yeah, because you said this one, the three, three or more. Segunda. Right. All of them. A bone. Right here, yeah. Yeah, segunda, bay bone. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry. Okay. Right I, I see it, yeah. I see yeah. it right there. Is okay. it bay bone or bay bone? Then why was... <laughs> It's you to them. You you see all those flowers. See, it's still you to them, but you can't use it for that. You have to use it for because it's the type of noun. It depends because it remember it's like yeah, it has three dimensional chess. We got to deal with like either the type of noun, the default, the plant, or the yeah. animal. So it's not for that. It's for the short, short form. Okay. So it'd be, so Thode, Thode bot bon or a king. Well, that's long form. Yeah, but isn't oh, no, a, a king, king yeah. Yeah, is, a king, yeah. Is a thing. king, yeah, short form. Okay, a king, yeah. Okay, so short form. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to put that in a short form. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why it's so complicated. Holy. Oh my gosh. Three dimensional. We got it. We can't think of it like English. It's like it's like you have to think of, I think of it almost like a um, you know how you have you how you have a balance scale. In yeah. my head, I think of like the middle, the where the yeah. balance is, is a pronoun. And then you have to have on one end of the balance, you have your verb. Yeah. On the other hand, you have your noun, but they have to match. And it's like you know how you can put different types of weights on it like that's kind of what i see in my head when i think of these mm -hmm. is figuring out how to make them match because you're juggling multiple <laughs> things yeah and i'm still talking about you to them but it doesn't matter because it's a different type of now form right okay because the pronoun will change based on the noun that a, we're using. If it's a long short, long form or a short form of noun. Or well, it's it the noun's gonna be one of these categories: default, plant, animate, or human animate. 
So we have to not only memorize the type of noun and the pronouns that go with that noun, but and also the verb, the verb right? Because <laughs> there's different types of verbs that whether what the uh, tense is, like if we're talking about present, past, future, whatever. Woo, so mental. So after all that, what is that saying? Say goomba, boom. <laughs> So that was wrong. It would be Akinkya or default Thode Bot Bon. So basically, we can't say use the dog one. Yeah, we can't say Segun because Segun da. So what is this? Going plural. Thode Bot Bon. What is it? Do you see all those shoes? See them shoes. So you let's go back. You're looking at all of them. You're Melody. seeing all this. Monday. Hey, um, I'm looking at the charts. You know how it's got it laid out in the squares? Yeah. yeah. And it's, it, it makes a lot of sense. It's easier now. I can see what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, what you're talking about now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like. It makes more sense when you're looking at it at the chart and then uh, you put like segun da for making plural and then you can actually see. Oh, <laughs> that it would be. What was it? Bay is the pronoun. Bay. Yeah, you're uh, looking at all those dogs. They so do dog form. Bay bon. Bay is it up? Because I can't see on there. Uh, up, yeah, it's up. up okay. E. Say goon da bay bon. Oh, is bone going up or down? It's going up. Okay, bay bon. Okay. Uh, okay. Golly. So it's hard. So if you're trying to say although a bunch of dogs, then you got to use the bay. But if you're just talking about one dog, but you're talking about the dog and you're seeing them, that you have to go down. Where is it? You have to go up to this other chart. Why does it keep doing that? To the singular. One item and then one dog that you're talking about that you're looking at Woo! mental gymnastics i'm telling you mm. golly this is so hard <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay nelson oh wants gosh. to try for real now okay okay, okay go nelson <laughs> yeah, i don't know about for real <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm okay real. i'll come <laughs> i'll come <laughs> You long form. You okay. too long form. Oh, what was the word? I forgot the word. Oh, is it bay man. going up? Close your eyes. <laughs> okay, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Okay, bay okay going. yeah, bay going up. Okay. <laughs> bay going up. And Nelson, if you got those pronoun charts, that's what I would do is I look at that pronoun chart, I pull it out and I find that. And I'm like, all right, now where am I at? <laughs> well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm trying to do it by memory. <laughs> um, but I'm not good at it at all. You long form. You long form. Um, what would the verb be? Think, think uh, about that. Well, the verb that we're using. Well, that, no, I'm not. Just, I'm not. I, I just thinking. I'm just saying, like, you oh, know, for oh. help. I don't. I don't need. They, I would say yeah. maybe say goombum. No, you. Oh. You too long form, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. A two, I didn't see the two in it. You too long form, okay. Okay, Nelson, your Jeopardy <laughs> music is going off. Oh, okay, you said good dog. I don't know, on your high go. Okay, but you said- That's it, right? Segun bot bon, is that what you're you're saying? He said bay. Segun da bay bon. I think that's oh, right. Woo, Nelson! Yeah. Yay! Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh my! I made my dog jump. <laughs> I was gonna hear it. go. <laughs> you see all the dogs. Here, I'll put a heart. Uh, say yeah. <laughs> so that's what I try to figure out. Like, okay, which verb am I talking about first? Then, yeah, then you have to figure out the type of noun and then you figure out your 
the, then okay, that's the pronoun that'll go with it. So it's saying, so in this one, it's <sighs> saying we're using the pronoun for you, and the noun is going to be a long form noun, right? Is that what this is? So does like? that mean if you go to the long form noun, then it would also be a singular, uh, a wait, yeah, a singular flower. A king got bagel. Is that in this PowerPoint you always here? say that? Let's see. Is that, would that also be it? A king got bagel. I'm looking for where it says long form. That's, uh, let's see, where's the bone part? Oh, there it is. Is this it? The long form? You it's, to it'd long be a form. singular flower. What is it on the pink chart, on the little pink thing? Did it say Aki got, or did it just say Thode? Aki got. Oh, it did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. the noun is a long form. And in, so that means that, um, I'm trying to find where it is in here. Segunda, bebong. So one flower. You have to go to the picture that only has one flower. Whoops. Why does it keep doing that? Okay. Where's but at the very top? Oh, here oh, is this one it? flower. Wait, no, that's oh, just that's English. English. I think it might be at the very top. Oh, here. Okay. So sentences in red take the long form pronouns. Okay. I think it's at the very top. The top picture above. Yeah, that top one. Very okay. top one. Right here? That one. No, the top one. You have to go one more. Sorry. There okay. Sing it there. <laughs> oh, yeah, right here. Uh, right? Bay. That says day. Ah, king got bay. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, bay. That's, That's it. Okay. Bay. And that is you see the flower. Not I see the flower, but you see the flower. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to uh, wrap my head around this long form thing. Long form refers to the noun, right? Correct. Uh -huh. So it it's like when the, the noun, noun is longer. And so like, I always think like with animals, a lot of times they can be, you know, just single one of them out there. But with plants, there's a there's usually a whole bunch of plants. <laughs> so it's more normal for a noun to be, you know, have a short form. And then like if there's, and so then the long form of the plant would be the singular one. So the long form of the animal will be the plural and the long form of the plant will be singular. Hmm. And then default means that it's always singular. It's always the, uh, yeah, the, um, it's I not, mean, not singular, not but short, form. short, short form. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, mental gymnastics. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Oh, who wants to try? Seconds. Gosh, it's so hard. Nelson got that though. I know that was awesome. <laughs> Somebody else want to try? Let's see. All right, Yay. who's up next? Uh, let's see. Oh, Judy's on the other line. Ramon, you want to try this one? Oh, sure. Okay. I, the long form. What's the, uh, you said the two nouns that are being used are uh, dog and flowers, right? Dogs and flowers. There's dog, three flowers, actually. There's Thode, Zegun, oh. and Akinga. Yeah, dog, shoe, flower. Okay. Um, 
let's see. Sagoon Dog Day Bone. Let's see. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. And then if you said that our king got day bone, then we'd be saying, I see one flower. And that Sagun dog day bone means I see a whole bunch of dogs. So I see one flower or I see a whole bunch of dogs. Oh. So like if we're doing it in level one, How is that? How are we doing? Are they going to tell well, us in Kiowa or English? I can't remember. Yeah, level one is is opposite from what we're doing. So level one, they'll see the Kiowa or they'll say the Kiowa, and we have to okay. say in English. We have to translate it. Okay. So but, they'll see us, and then level two is they're going to tell us. Um, they'll say it. They'll basically say English. this. <laughs> I'll see the flower, or uh, they'll just say. I you see, see the one dog, or you see yeah. one dog, or you see yeah. a bunch of dogs. And, and okay, okay, Woo, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> okay, I think I'm getting it a little bit. It's hard though. It, it takes a lot of mental capacity. <laughs> oh, I have to be like in the zone, no distractions. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, and there's still seventeen. <laughs> See, we can keep doing that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Ramon got that one. Uh, who hasn't tried yet? Tim, did you already, you already went, right, Tim? No. Um, is this um, Segun a bone? What do you see? Let's see. So she or he to long form. Okay. So use the long form of Segun. Segun doll. Oh. A bone. And let me do that. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Did it. A bone. bone. Okay. Let me go back to the so A and then and he or she to long form. Say goon. I mean Akin got. So you're saying got uh he saw all of the dogs uh -huh. and then you're saying he saw one, one. flower yeah uh -huh. okay or he saw the uh -huh. flower and then uh -huh. he saw all the dogs that's uh -huh. three or more right dogs uh -huh. the second dog yeah 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 she saw and flower. this is where yeah he or she saw the long form so she saw the dogs or she saw a flower Oh, and so that's what we're doing for level. So Tim, you'll probably yeah. actually have it a little. You'll you'll be well prepared, hopefully, because you'll hear the Kiowa, you'll see the Kiowa, then you'll just say the English translation of it. Doing the opposite, I think, is a lot harder. <laughs> well, yeah, you did it. You got it. So you'll see this that little pink card for or you'll hear yeah. this or see this pink card and then you'll have to tell what it means in English. Yeah, and you just and have then, to do uh, this one, where is it? There's a, one of these slides has all of, like has the English and the Kiowa on one, but I don't know which one it is. It's one of these. Oh, maybe this is it. No, that's not it. I think anyway. it is. He had to put it on several, several of them. I like these because it kind of just goes. Uh -huh. It's a yeah. good practice. But then you learn them in order like that. <laughs> right, right. Then you memorize. And then, them. and then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then it throws you off later. So, uh -huh. um, but yeah, you'll okay. you'll get this basically for level one. You'll get this, and then they'll say one of these. Or no, it'll say it in Kiowa, and then you'll have to say it in English. Like, Long you, those are your bunch of flowers or something. So hard. Um, okay, who else 
didn't get to go because we're at we're at our time. What about? I'll try it. Okay. Okay. Oh. So this one. Wait. Didn't you just, just do that one? Yeah. We <laughs> like we already yeah. did this one. Hold on. Let me press the right button. Okay. So uh, A going a down. Going down. Long form it they. Uh, Akinga a long. I was not you to anything. It's just oh. it is. Oh, it yeah. is. It okay. Is. Don't. Just don't forget to do your um verb. I always had to put my verb. What verb are you gonna use first, and then that way it'll help you make your sentence. So, so in this one, the it and the they is telling us. Long form. Yeah, it's just what they yeah. are. Right. It, right. They. So it's just okay. gonna be da. So right. Okay. Akin got a da. Oh, long form, is, right? Long form. Uh -huh. So then translate those to English. Uh, flower, I saw it, and or not even see it. Flower, it is, and dog, they are. Ah, uh, uh, flower. Uh, it okay, is. Taking the, I'm taking notes. It helps me. I never keep my notes. <laughs> I mean, I never look at them. I keep them. I just don't look at them. Say <laughs> good. A. Da. A going down. A da. Is that dog going down? Okay. And so that means dog, uh, a whole bunch of dogs. Dogs they are. Dogs they are. Okay. Uh -huh. Ooh, Mama Lori. Mia. <laughs> uh let's see yes. uh judy would you like to try one i don't know if you're available might still be on the phone okay let me go to the next one um a <laughs> uh what was it when it's a so say good a a on. say good a on. it's my favorite oh, one because <laughs> okay. i always remember the first okay. time we heard that and every all the mentors started laughing because they said it sounds like you're demanding someone like give me my dog <laughs> oh can you pop pass it back i mean turn go back to it a a okay and, and then, then one what? object for me, for me. Or oh, my, so my my one like object. I just imagine like a little kid coming up and like jerking a puppy out of someone's hand or so. <laughs> you know how little kids go and they like oh something. yeah, like a toddler. Yeah, yeah, that's what I Say imagine. Good. <laughs> Say good. Like, Get it to me. A uh, okay, so that'd be the uh. So the the kid. Yeah, yeah. Say good. But. If you're saying, let's see. So, but okay. So, like on that one, if it's one object, then would that be a uh, king? Yeah. Ain't on. Would you say that too? The, you would say the top one. So, these top two sentences are saying, give it to me. Uh -huh. And then this one is, that's mine, or this is mine. The shoe is mine. The bottom one, they're saying, this is mine. And the top ones are saying, give it to me. Is that is that how to interpret it, uh, Grandma D or Grandma Martha? Yes, you're right. You got it. Okay. Can, can yeah. you also say it's if it's it was one object? Can you also say a king ya ain't on, or is that not correct? Give me the flower. You would say not on, just one. Hmm. Give me the flower, be Akin got, not on. Oh, Akin got, yeah. Oh, nah. One flower. Oh, okay. So see, yeah, that, that needs to have like short form on there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give us some more of a, I'm going to write down short form. Short form. I think it's a difference between plants and animals. Say coon. Say goon. Yeah, it, it goes mm -hmm. back to the type of noun because. Mm -hmm. 
the flower is the plant noun category. So all the plant noun categories, which there are a lot of them, they're going to act that way. The words are going to, the sentences okay. are going to be structured like that. Um, oh, okay. Okay, it any is, other questions on this one? Huh? So it's my, it's my flower. Uh, so the top one is more about no, like my give it's me my dog like give it to me like the ain't on has a connotation of like give it to me like that's mine like okay it's, it's more emphasis. my my flower okay my dog and the and bottom but it needs to say short is, form yeah that would help especially because, for level one yeah yeah because i need to know that it's going to be a short form or else i'll think that it's a that you can also use a flower in there. We should uh okay. we should tell Dane so he could uh consider that in their mm -hmm. process. Mm. Da, let me see da. Okay. All right. Hey, this is very helpful. Okay. Oh. Uh, so. All right. Oh, so that was a going up. This is a going down. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> He to them too, or they too. They 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 so she, he to them, they too. So they too meaning like they exist, like the two of them exist. And then she to those two. So she's to me. like looking at two things. And then and this is, they are two things. And it's uh, this one. Ain't, ain't going, going down. down. Okay. Yeah. Ain't going down. What was the second part that you just did? Okay, uh, she. So it's two different things. Ah, uh, so it's going to be two answers. She to them. So she to two. Mm -hmm. to two. So that might well, that would be bon. Right. Okay. So um, yeah. Okay. So let's. If we're and then the two. second one would be they two, and that would be dog. Okay, let's see it. Oh, so, and this applies to all three nouns that we were working with. Uh, okay, <laughs> go back to the, the second white card. <laughs> okay, so that is not take on a shorter line form. Okay, uh, okay. It just yeah, is. see that, that's where it's like. Yeah, if it's going to have a different one, if it's long or short, then I need to know. No, yeah, uh, it's hard because then I would have thought, like I said, flower would have gone in there. Okay, let me see that again. The pink card. Can you put on the pink card? Okay. So Thode. And then Aki okay, got, okay. Okay. Do we want to uh, translate these sentences? So like, do they ain't bon. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh. He or she sees the shoe, two shoes. Hawks, oh, Woohoo. Okay, uh, Kathy, translate the next sentence. Yeah. I can't get a bone. Oh. Mm -hmm. Flower, uh, she sees flower. Two, right? Two flowers. Two, two flowers. flowers. Because that ain't going down. Uh -uh. Two. two of something. Ha. Uh -huh. Okay, oh. uh, cricket. I'm just um, she sees two dogs. Oh, okay. Now we're going to that other. Let me go back here. They too. So we're changing the just are same pronoun, but they they, they just exist. Are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see who is. Uh, Aunt Carolyn, you wanna try one? If you if she's there. 
Grandma D, is Aunt Carolyn by you? Yes. Yeah. Oh. All right. You want to do that? Uh, what is it? First sentence. A, is that the two? They, they two are? Uh -huh. Yeah, just they two down here. Uh, they are two shoes. Oh, they and doll. They are tissues. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're a pair. <laughs> oh. <And> can you <laughs> oh, say tissues? <laughs> can you say ain't they? Ain't they? Though they ain't doll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. exactly. That probably makes it a little more specific, easier to figure out what you're talking about. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's see, uh, Judy, would you like to translate this uh, middle sentence on the bottom set here? Is that flowers they are? Two flowers, yeah. Two flowers they are. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They're two flowers or they are two flowers. They are two flowers. Oh, uh, let's see who's next. Uh, Ramon. That last one. Oh. Hey, where are we? Oh, <laughs> the uh, this last uh, you want to translate this very last sentence into English? Do you want to look at the other cards again for a hint? They are two dogs. Oh. All right. Um, so we still still have thirteen cards, but we will stop there because we're at time. Everyone should have this link because I sent it in the email, and I know uh, we talked about it on Monday. But I'll put this one in the chat in case you want to continue but, studying. You know what, Melody? If we do this and we get it down, we can make our own sentences that we can talk <laughs> oh <laughs> that that's the thing is even though this is so hard it's important to for us to get so we can talk because otherwise we're saying stuff and we don't know what pronoun to put in there and we might know our verbs we might know our nouns but it's always that little tiny pronoun that and let's you know the person that you're talking to know what you're talking about Oh, that's right. We'd be able to like that's something that I'm like struggling with 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 my uh, class because I, I want to focus on proficiency. Right. Mm -hmm. And in like where I've been talking with the world, other world language teachers, we just have Spanish <laughs> at Weatherford. But mm -hmm. uh, they, you know, they focus. They're all about grammar, like for their first year is all. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, if we did that, like no one would ever come back to class. <laughs> amen. <laughs> so we I'm like, it's going to be interesting, you know. It's yeah. going to be interesting to see. Because <laughs> uh, the Spanish teachers are like, oh yeah, you could take a look at our assessments and quizzes. Uh -huh. I'm like, well, thank you. That's a nice offer. <laughs> yeah but, it's not gonna work <laughs> yeah unfortunately Kai was a little different <laughs> yeah uh so that but I just you know I always think about that because I'm like man we're just now getting to grammar and like for me I've been like intensely trying to learn for 10 years mm -hmm. uh it's like wow <laughs> it's oh. eye -opening. <laughs> oh. um, well Thanks. I feel like we we learned that's it. Getting our neural pathways going in our uh -oh. brain. Okay. Uh well, that's our time. Um let's see. Uh Grandma D Bay dot Sai for our closing. Well, my mind dog and they all they get time on the thought don't get get. Get my hand, my dog. They own the untimed fate of get high they are. I hold the in arm. They only get 
एक पैगे दाम के दौ दौ कि खोटे पाए दाम के दौन से हार के दौ दौ कि Have a good first day of school. <laughs> uh, how would we say that? Like, uh, day on day. Uh, well, you have to think in Kiowa, not English. Yeah. <laughs> sitting yeah. sitting yeah, in that's school. Well, that's, a, that's the problem. Oh, uh -huh, that's good. right. <laughs> good sitting in school day. Boot on, yeah. Oh, Good God. sitting in school day. That's first. Um, good, Kida. Oh. How is that said? Um, good, For first, I, I'm sure there's a better way to say it in Kiowa. <laughs> that that's what we're lacking, you know, as we don't think in Kiowa. Mm -hmm. We go from English to Kiowa, and that's a struggle. Oh. Could you add on? Um, or would that be weird? I guess I said. What was the comment? Was it happy school days or? Or happy first school day. Whoa. Oh, happy first school day. Happy first school day. And, and I think what Cricket was asking is, could you say happy first sitting in school day? Like, um, first on day on day. You could say on day on day, maybe. I'm gonna put this in there and see it and tell me if it's right if what people think. It owned a thumb. Kida. And then Gut And this could totally not be right at all. Yes. Ande. Germany. Tom Gukita. Yeah, I am good on you. Okay. You're just talking to one person there. Okay. Uh, my brain is exhausted. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> now pronoun. <laughs> <laughs> now pronouns, and then you then you make a phrase in English and ask ask for it in Kiowa. Well, that's that's <laughs> too too much mental my, my, gymnastics. <laughs> I don't hear Kiowa that much, so 
we don't hear it, so it's difficult. Hmm. And I've heard beautiful Kiowa, so that bothers me. That I'm not, I'm not saying it like maybe some other Kiowa would. Uh -huh. Well, we appreciate your effort, though, Grandma D. <laughs> okay, we won't, we won't uh, make anyone think too much anymore. <laughs> <It's late. laughs> time for bed. <laughs> we're we're out after our time. <laughs> um, cool. Well, we have some options, so we can uh, see what see what others think of that. Um, Happy first school day, or for happy. Oh. Is that what you're trying to say? Uh -huh. happy oh. In school. Mm -hmm. Okay, happy. <laughs> I think it's so like, good. Um, it's a good bar. The happy part is the part that has to be because it can be said so many different ways would turn into a phrase, not a thing that has uh -huh. to be thought out. Have oh. I like the tag. Uh -huh. Tag is good. Yes. Tag. Have a good school. Um. Tag. Uh, I get soy and good mm -hmm. And what was that? Oh. I get soy and good I think. Is it so or soy? Mm -hmm. I don't know that part with that. So, and good I'm not I'm not quite sure if I heard it right. Miss Marion, can you repeat that? It was hard to hear you the first time. No, I just I just said I get to him good ma. That was the same thing. So I get to so but I just think I repeated what Dolores said too similar. Uh -huh. Oh, but she and she shortened it a little bit too, a little more. I get so aim good ba. Yeah, yeah, same. Mm -hmm. And how would okay. you uh put that? What you just said? How would you put that into English? Which one? I get so aim good ba. Go to school in a good way is what it says. Oh, and, and then we could say carefully and oh. in a good way. Oh, I like yeah. that. Go to school in a good way. And then they put a hot key at the end today. Today. Oh. Yeah. Put that today in first too. Yeah, because that would that would mean, you know, since it's the first day, you're saying it today. Oh, cool! Appreciate that. Teamwork. <laughs> <clears throat> Very cool. We have some options here. All right. Well, I better uh let everyone go. I know my kids are waiting for dinner, so I gotta go sit down so we can eat and then send them all to bed. So good luck tomorrow, uh, everyone who's starting school and teaching school tomorrow. Um, have fun and can't wait to hear about all the adventures next week. So. Oh, game. Yeah.
Oh. Aquí, sopo. Well, I enjoy being on here with you guys. I've missed you. I haven't been on since mid June. So <laughs> we missed you. Too. Bon. It's good to see you all. Oh, on day, on day, and sun cricket. <laughs> oh. Good luck. Have fun tomorrow. Hega, <laughs> 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 <laughs>